Okay. Okay. Uh, my name is Greg Ward. I'm the Vice President of Sales for Europe for Shangri-La Hotels and Resorts, and I'm based out of the regional sales office located in London. Okay. Uh, currently, Shangri-La stands at uh, 88 hotels uh, worldwide, uh, covering Asia, Middle East, uh, India, Europe. Uh, and various other key destinations including Australia. Uh, future expansion plans looking forward into 2015. We have 12 hotels planned for 2015 including destinations such as Doha, um, Sri Lanka, Mauritius, Manila and a number of other key destinations with an emphasis on meetings and incentives um, for the marketplace. Uh, Shangri-La recognizes that meetings and incentives and events are a critical part of our business. Uh, we have the ability to deliver exceptional experiences to customers on a global basis and also recognizing the amalgamation of the corporate trend to amalgamate corporate travel programs with MICE uh, to allow corporate companies to have a better indication of their overall spend. Shangri-La is very well positioned to help uh, accommodate that on a global basis. Uh, yep. reason sure, absolutely. Uh, new markets to Shangri-La, uh, firstly, is Europe. Uh, Shangri-La came to Europe uh, four years ago. Uh, we now have Paris, Istanbul and London, uh, recognizing the need to meet our customer expectations on a global basis again, taking the brand on a journey, uh, developing the Shangri-La awareness, but now taking it even further. Mauritius as a, as a new destination for Shangri-La is, is absolutely key within the Indian Ocean. It complements the Maldives, which uh, opened four years ago, and also complements uh, our first hotel in Sri Lanka, which will also open in 2015, followed by another hotel opening in Colombo in 2016. Again, from a trend point of view, looking at the meetings and incentive market, it's identifying that there is a growing need of discovery. People want to go on a journey of discovery, and Shangri-La is now incredibly well positioned to accommodate that. Uh, be it in China, exploring China, which is an amazing emerging market. Uh, a lot of companies are now looking at China as a destination to explore, certainly from an incentive point of view, but also a meetings and events point of view. If you look at the facilities in destinations such as Shanghai and Beijing, they're able to accommodate enormous numbers in relation to key congresses, but also small board-side numbers as well in a very efficient manner. Uh, and again, from Shangri-La's point of view, it's all about differentiation. It's all about the experience. And we recognize, looking on a global basis, that customers, certainly in the incentive world, are looking for new experiences. Uh, hence Sri Lanka, hence Mauritius, and various other destinations that will be announced in the future.